So we have an update in the death of Breonna Taylor a couple of days ago. The judge handed down a ruling pertaining to two of the officers involved in the shooting. As you come onto the page, kindly hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you. A major update in the case of Breonna Taylor, the 26-year-old Louisville woman killed in her own home in a police raid, which was set off protests nationwide. Last week, a federal judge threw out felony charges against two former officers who were accused of falsifying the warrant that sent police to Taylor's door. Dorica Duncan reports. <laughs> Breonna Taylor's death sparked an outcry for racial justice across the country after police shot and killed her in 2020. Taylor was caught in the crossfire when Louisville police raided her apartment using an allegedly false drug warrant. Her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, fired one shot that hit an officer in the leg. Police returned fire 32 rounds, eight of which hit Taylor. Walker, a licensed gun owner, said he believed an intruder was breaking in. Following the shooting, the Department of Justice filed charges against four officers. Those alleged crimes include civil rights offenses, unlawful conspiracies, unconstitutional use of force, and obstruction offenses. But late last week, a federal judge in Kentucky dismissed felony charges against two of them. Former Louisville police detective Joshua Jaynes and former Sergeant Kyle Meany. The judge ruled that it was not a bad warrant, but it was Walker's actions that legally caused Taylor's death because he fired the first shot. Jaynes and Meany were not at the raid, but prosecutors accused them of knowingly falsifying part of the warrant and putting Taylor in danger by sending armed officers to her apartment. In a statement to CBS News, an attorney for Breonna Taylor's family said, quote, We are devastated at the moment by the judge's ruling and are just trying to process everything. Every day feels like March the 14th to me. Every day does. CBS News spoke with Walker about Taylor's death in 2021. I'm sitting right here today and I'm feeling tired. Tired? What are you tired of? I'm tired of having to get up every day and you know and, and my life is it's changed like i'm the only person who has to deal with it every day rihanna taylor is just a you know a hashtag to other people but she was something bigger than me of course prosecutors plan to appeal the decision that's according to the taylor family's attorney and attorneys for the two officers told cbs news that they are quote very pleased with last week's ruling and just moments ago i got off the phone with kenneth walker's attorney he said that walker cannot be prosecuted again but they're uh, not commenting at this time so for the family though this has been a long road to some form of justice and obviously a big blow to them to see two more officers not at all held responsible for Breonna Taylor's death. As you leave the page, don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for watching.